What's up guys? I'm back with another movie review. I've got one from Music Video Distributors, MVD. Um, they put out a lot of indie horror and uh, like newer indie horror movies and sci-fi, stuff like that. Um, also some action every once in a while. This one is a horror movie, however, and it is called Child Eater. I love the idea of a bad guy who eats children. I don't like kids, so I don't mind seeing them getting eaten. The story here is that there's a legend about um, a guy who lived in the woods and he ate the chill. I'm sorry. He ate the eyeballs of children. Um, that's been a long time ago. So a little kid is really concerned about it. He's heard about it and he's super scared. And his babysitter is like, look, that's just a story. You don't have to worry about it. But he's petrified. Like He's absolutely convinced that this is going on. Um, she's like a little bit distracted because she's got her own shit going on, but she tries to comfort him and let him know that like, you know, nothing's going to happen. And then something happens. Um, the kid disappears and she's got to go and find him. And it starts to look like maybe this legend is more than just a legend. Um, the movie's okay. It's, it's really dark. It's got pretty good atmosphere. Uh, the performances are fine. The girl who plays the lead is really solid. Um, I really like a scene in it. This is irrelevant to what I was just talking about, but there's a scene i love pregnancy reveals where the guy's like is it mine and the girl gets all pissed off you know like basically saying she's a slut and he doesn't know whether or not it's his kid i love scenes like that this movie has one it's been like a month since i watched it but i remember that scene um i think what works best for this movie is it has a really good like monster bad guy um the look of this dude is really cool uh he's just got good presence eating eyeballs is awesome um, I just really, I think there's like a really good potential here. And unfortunately the movie doesn't take full advantage of it. Um, it's got a little bit of blood, not much. It's got no sex, no sleaze. Um, it's just not that scary. Um, I wanted the movie to center on that character instead of the babysitter, even though her performance is okay, just because he's a much more interesting character. And it's like, you know, if you've got Freddie or Jason, you want them on camera as much as possible. And in this case, they kind of push this guy into the background, which sucks because he's a really cool character. Hopefully, if they do a sequel, they'll really push him and have him in the forefront. I think that would make a huge difference and make the movie uh, a lot more enjoyable. But even as it stands, it's a solid uh, indie horror movie. It's, it shows a lot of potential. And it definitely the people involved are people to uh, keep an eye on. The DVDs from Music Video Distributors, it looks fine. It's anamorphic widescreen. It's got trailer, deleted scenes, audio commentary track. Um... Uh, the light was on there. Let me get... See, that guy's got a cool look to him, man. I like it. Um, I would recommend the movie to anybody who likes indie horror. Um, it's a real... Like I said, the main reason to watch this is for the monster. He's a really cool creation, um, which is rare because even in good horror movies, a lot of times, like Victor Crowley, like a lot of the like newer kind of iconic monster people are not that interesting. Um this guy definitely is he definitely doesn't feel like just a rehash or anything like that um and i don't hate hatchet by the way so please don't send me hate mail i just don't think victor crowley is a memorable or you know spectacular villain he's just kind of a mashed together version of some other people this guy in this movie though is pretty wholly original um i definitely recommend you check it out if you're a fan of horror and you don't mind indie horror um that's child eater it's from mvd you can get it on dvd or video on demand uh, it's available at Amazon, anywhere you'd get movies. If you like this review, please do check out my website. I would greatly appreciate it. I've got hundreds and hundreds of reviews. I put up new shit every day. Uh, movies, TV shows, um, video games, anime, everything you could think of. And then I'm also on Twitter, Twitch, and Instagram at Mark Fusion. You can see I post what I get in the mail every day. Um, I talk about what I've got coming up, uh, review links, all kinds of stuff. I'd greatly appreciate you checking out the videos. Hopefully I'll have some more up soon.